Hello and welcome to uh, what is basically new for the channel. Uh, it's essentially uh, gameplay. But it is. It's not essentially. It is. It is gameplay. Back in start. And we're going to be kicking things off with doing some gameplays of Age of Empires. As you can see, I've got everything set up here that I would uh, normally go for. This is in by no stretch of the imagination going to be a professional gameplay video. So for those of you who watch Age of Empires gameplay traditionally, you will know there are people out there that will... Um, eat me for dust if I were to even try what I'm going to be doing on here in uh, multiplayer. Uh, it's basically it's just a, it's, it's an excuse for me just to play the game the way I play traditionally, just very slow paced, build everything up, build up your resources, then focus on building the army, uh, get your defences up, and then concentrate on the attack. So I've got an ally just to uh, keep me in check. Two enemies, they may go for each other, they may end up coming against me. Or they might wipe my ally out, which then leaves me to fend for myself. We shall see. But uh, yeah, we'll crack things off. Okay. Let's see who we're playing as. Oh, okay, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that, but as you can see, we're running the traditional uh, name for an ancient civilization. I believe it. Excellent. Yes, the, uh, the vocals in this are fantastic. <laughs> you, can't, you can't fathom out what they're saying. I mean, to be fair, when it comes to the... Uh, if you're playing as the British in this, you can't actually understand what's being said either. So, yeah, it all, it all adds up. Got any ideas? Yes, we do. Jolly good. Yes. Yes, go find that, would you? Okie dokie. I beg your pardon. Okay, we have eight more villagers being produced, so we'll have you skim me over there. We've got you collecting some cows. Excellent day. Right. Keep an eye on the old wood. As you can see, our resources in this game mode are very, very limited. So you have to uh, really build up everything and make sure you've got a plentiful supply of wood, food, gold, and stone. If you run out of any one of those, you are in deep, deep trouble. So you want to make sure that uh, you have plenty of stone for building some of the bigger fortifications, like the castle, which becomes available in the Castle Age. I'll let you work that one up for yourselves. Wood is traditionally used for most of the generic buildings in this game. And food, well obviously that comes from uh, doing research into a few things, as well as building up the general population. Or villagers, as they are known. Okay. Up we go. How many more? Four more, so that gives me enough to get five. The way I traditionally do these is I have five villagers on the gold mines, and I have two on the stone mines. And then when it comes to doing food resources, I have two getting the livestock, be it sheep or cattle or turkey, depending on which map you choose. I then have two in the old porridge bushes. They can be anything, berry, tomato, whatever you fancy. And then when it comes to wood, I try and get as many as possible uh, chopping wood. Because you can burn through wood very, very quickly in this game. Because it's one of the it's, it's the main resource used when constructing various buildings. The old coffee there. Right, another two. As you can see here, we have the mini-map, so I've got my allies down here that will be doing their own thing, and the two enemies here. So we can keep an eye on those as best as possible. Significantly easier said than done when you're trying to run your own little uh, civilization, and um, it can be troublesome at best. Right, two more villagers. Up here is our population camp. Uh, at the start of the show, you would have seen my, the population limit is, excuse me, set to 500. And there's no case of, you know, a, a, some of the special bits take up two, three, four of these. It's all Again. one person, one unit, be it you, you, whatever, takes up one person. See, they've got a house. Each house gives you five Again. spaces. As you can see here, with five minutes in, the AI have already advanced yeah. the feudal age, and I am nowhere near this. 
as I say, I'm going to be focusing on building up all my resources and then we go from there. It's literally all we can do at this, this stage. You see there, I've just nearly wiped out the food supply I had, just building up additional villagers. As you can see here, building the houses, the wood supply slowly goes down, but the more villagers you have collecting these resources, the quicker they go up. This is actually another reason why I have um, allies, as you can see. That's the next one going up to the feudal age. With regards to the minimap, we can have a little look-see what they're up to. As you can see, they've just... The AI has a thing. I don't know, it's just through all the games I play. It fires all of its villagers into uh, mass producing one thing. And then when it's got enough, it zips them to the next and so on and so forth. They all do it. See, so, yeah, they all... They've all built farms, but then they're not utilising all of them. See, they're all on food gathering at the moment, because food is one of the biggest things to try and get in this game. Because without food, you're not going to get anywhere. So as you can see, I'll, I'll skim through these as well. So you can see here, we have the, uh, the house. It gives you a brief description of what it does, and it tells you the cost in wood. Same with the mill. Mining camp, lumber camp, the docks, so if this were heavily featured with water, then you could build ships. Farms, again, cross wood. Clicking this arrow here takes us into our military buildings. Now, because we're in the Dark Age, our military buildings are very limited. They're limited to just the barracks. The barracks is where we get uh, militia from to kick things off. The militia are quite weak, but in big numbers, they can be quite deadly. And of course, as the game progresses, you upgrade your units to something much, much stronger. But of course, the further you go into the game, uh, the more resources something will cost. The bigger the building, and the more functionality the building has, the more it costs you. That's the reason. So one of the cheapest things is the house. So this is what I tend to do. This is usually how I play my regicide games. I just slowly build everything up where possible. And then when I've got enough of something behind me, I then start going up into the further ages. That's really all we can do. So you can see here we have another gold mine. So the five villages I'm creating there will be used to gather more gold. And obviously, the more villages you have collecting particular resources, the quicker your resources start stockpiling. Which is why I have the stone miners going at it quite early. And the reason is because uh, stone on most maps is quite hard to come across and you will end up mining through it very, very quickly. You see we have stone mine there, we have stone up there. Oh, and who have we got here? We have King Edward of the British. No, I'm not gonna, I don't even know who my civilization. Yeah, see, I'm not too sure who they are on their day off, but um, each civilization has a unique unit or two, depending on the civilization. This could be a siege weapon, this could be uh, cavalry, it could be a foot soldier, be it um, a swordsman, uh, it could be uh, an archer. So, with the British, they have the, uh, the long bow, and they are a pain, because they have far greater range than the standard bowmen that uh, each civilization gets. I don't know why I was doing that then, but there we go. Down you go, Chief. Alright, so, as you see, we've, we're getting a steady little supply of houses going on here, so... Why have I... Have, what, what, Jim, right. Your name's now going to be Jim. Why are you doing that when the, the cow was there? You just... <laughs> Good! Right, so you can see we've got enough wood there, so I can go for the barracks, which is 175. I tend to go for two barracks, so I can create multiple units at the same time. I do this with all uh, military buildings, the archery, the stables. But interestingly, some civilizations don't have an archery or a stable, so you have to try and make do with the units available to you. And you can see here, we're 12 minutes in. The AI have already got to the castle age. I'm still in the feudal age and this and really nowhere near getting too far up. So you can see there, my food had just suddenly dropped. 
So I go into the feudal age, which gives me access to far greater things, uh, just costs you a healthy amount of food. So before you research anything, you've got to make sure you've got enough resources behind you. And because I'm now researching the feudal age from the town centre, you can't make, you, you can't bring any villagers to the throne. So you have to try and make do as best you can. So this is why I like to try and build my resources up, get a healthy amount of villagers going beforehand, just so I can get a constant su supply of things coming in. So when I do go through feudal age, I can then make more villagers to start building more things, get some more farms going to really bring that food in. And say food is very, very important. When we get to the feudal age, we'll be able to see all the various little bits and bobs that uh, we're able to create, such as towers to defend ourselves. Alright, so that's my two barracks is built. So I'll just get you building some more houses. Seeing as you can't really do anything else. Right, you're now done, so let's get the old farms on the go. We'll have to try and get some more and more farms going. Once these forge bushes have been done, I will then be uh, creating more uh, farms. How much health have you got left? In all of that, every time you've ferreted amongst us, you haven't actually been able to hit big hit points. Joyful. So, as you can see, we're in the feudal age now, and the design of the buildings changes. And it's now gives us a chance to start researching some things to make things much more economical. So we can get uh, the mines being uh, more precise, we can get more food at the farms, our villagers can uh, become quicker at what they do. So you can see we're still running slow on the uh, food. So, this early stage, with me normally, it's a uh, real close mashup between uh, keeping the food and the wood all together. Because in order to build farms, you've got to spend wood. So you've got to make sure that you're getting a straight steady supply of wood coming in to maintain keeping your farms going. Go on then. As you can see here, we get um, the archery range and the stable. Across the exact same as the barracks. We also get the watchtower. And that will fire out a singular arrow at opposing forces. It will fire out multiple arrows if you have units garrisoned inside. So what I tend to do, I tend to create um, an army of archers. And I have the archers go in into the towers to make them much more deadly. So you can see there, we actually ran out of food then, because each farm costs 60 wood. So now I've got to fire up some more villagers to go and get some more wood. When I get enough wood behind that, I will then build some lumber camps, uh, so they haven't got to keep traversing back and forth to the town centre, so the resources come in that much quicker. You see, I can't really, I can't build anything because I haven't got any wood. That's, this is the problem. This is where you need to be careful, Regicide. In Deathmatch, you get plentiful supply of resources so you can really build to your heart's content. In Regicide, uh, it's really it's just a slow burner. Unless you're the AI, and then you seem to have this ability just to build things at a million miles an hour. Go down here, see what they're doing. Nothing terribly exciting, but... Uh, I know how this IR works, and it won't be too long before we get into trouble. Right, so we're going to do a loom research here, and that cost me 50 gold. That's really nothing. What loom does is just increases the overall health of the villagers. So, if I were to... I don't think there may be one in here. I don't actually know if we have any wolves in this particular map. Scan? I don't think we do. I think we're wildlife free. But in saying that, if you go for the wild boar, you need at least multiple villagers to take them down. You start attacking the wild boar to get food, the wild boar attack you. And even on a villager with 20, with 50 health, or 40 health should I say, uh, it will still kill them. So multiple villagers take it down all the more better. Right. Yes, you can do that. So, how much have we got in there? 105 left coming out of there, 125 coming out of there. So, plenty of food left to be gathered from the forge bushes, and they will then make plenty more farms. Let's say, in order to do that, we've got to ensure that we've got enough uh, wood to be able to do it. So, you can see our food there is at 980, so I'm going to whack in 10 villagers. 
and those 10 villagers will be used primarily solely just to get wood. Because I've got people going down here, you'll go down there. Now, interestingly, with this, um, this game, didn't deal with the people, but on this one, uh, if you have your villager build your mine camp next to the stone or gold or whatever, once finished building, they will automatically go to that resource. So with this chap, I don't want him doing that, so I'll just keep a close full eye on him and just ensure that he uh, behaves himself. You see these white things down here? These are relics. Now, relics are a good way of generating gold. In order to do that, you have to build a monastery, which is available in the Castle Age. Now again, the monastery opens up a whole new world of possibilities, and um, they can give you monks. And monks are used to get the relics. Also, they're used to convert uh, enemy units to your side. So, uh, the more strategic amongst you, if you know what you're doing with a monk, uh, they can really turn the tide of battle for you if things are going a little bit pear-shaped. I've had no end of my units converted before. You can't stop them from doing it. All you can do is try and get the units out of reach of your monks. That's literally all you can do. So, we're going to build a market. We'll stick it up there. There's no limit to where you can build. You can literally build wherever you fancy. But I try and keep things as close as possible. Of course, the flip side to that being is when you get attacked, it means that uh, your, your base can just get uh, completely warped over by the opposing forces. Right, so, as you can see here, the bullet just chopped wood 20% faster. So we're going to do that, because that now makes them more efficient. Everything I do to upgrade, I upgrade units and villagers to make them much more efficient in what they do, which is what you want. The faster they can get the resources, the faster you, you can, can then um, start building everything up. So you can see here, they're getting very, very busy. This can either be villagers being uh, created and then building a load of buildings, or you'll start seeing the makings of an army. As you can see, they're literally, at the moment, focusing purely, and this is the Britons. They're focusing on gathering plenty of resources at the moment. Plenty of buildings going off. There's our first military unit from the enemy. Now, they won't attack yet because they haven't got anything to attack with. That, so that one unit, that can cause some serious damage. These are used, they, they're just walking bugs, basically. They'll, they'll just bounce up to a building and commit suicide. They'll just blow up. And they are devastated if you get three or four of them to the building. They really can uh, do a great deal of damage. So, best bet is to have your archers at the ready and take them out from a distance. Don't do that, and you're in for a world of hurt. But you see, when you get to the castle age, I will this this building will then unlock units for me to go and build. So at the minute, what I can do is keep my king in there. Now with the regicide, you have to keep your king alive. If your king dies, that's it, game over. You can have all your villagers there. You can have all of your army still here. If your king dies, that's it, game over. You're out. So that's the end of the game. Keep your king safe. Kill the opposing king. So what you would normally do is build a secondary castle, if you get the chance to, probably build it at the back, have your king then go back there, at which point you can then get all your defences built up, build your walls if needs be. So that was my blacksmiths, this just enables me to uh, just buff up the infantry that I'll be building at a later date. Alright, let's just, uh, spam the old villagers here, there we go. Now, I've got no point in sending him out doing the, the Scout Cavalry. They're fantastic if you haven't got the map um, fully visible. So you can have the map fully visible, or you can have it so uh, you have to go exploring absolutely everywhere to be able to go and find things. That can be good fun. It can also be a complete pain in the backside. Right, you two are now done, so you will now build farms. Yes, thank you. So these 15 villages that I'm building, I'm going to have these purely on the wood front of things. Now I'm going to hazard a guess that they're building a wall down there because of the lines. Let's have a little slip down here. There we go, you can see the walls being built. 
So they've got about a multitude of different gates, they've got the walls, and they've just upgraded their walls. So these are now fortified, which means they're a hell of a lot stronger. There's our long bowman. That's going to be entertaining when they uh, come and say hello. He's busy doing his own thing. Yes, thank you. Yes, well done. Yes, yeah, thank you too, sir. They could be telling you all sorts of things, I'd have, have to believe them. And that sound there is the sound of the farm being exhausted. So each farm has X amount of resources to be gathered. So you see this has 40 bits of food left. This is going along, and this depleting. So we have to reseed the farm and do the whole process again. Which is why when I opened up the door previously and clicked on that button that was just there, it makes all the villagers that much more efficient at gathering food. Alright, so that's my two archery is built. On to the stables. I keep all the military buildings in close proximity just because it makes my life slightly easier, but I don't want to keep having to zip back and forth and uh, give myself a headache. Now, I'm actually going to keep five villagers back. Those five villagers are going to be my builders. I'm going to have them building all the defences of They're going to be building walls, towers, everything I'm going to need to ensure that I keep myself uh, safe and give myself a fighting chance. So I've had that happen before where I've been uh, I've been rather lackadaisical getting all my bits put together and the AI just come and steamroll me. And you can actually spend a decent amount of time in Regicide just defending yourself because the AI just seem to have this ability just to come and ruin your day. Yes, exactly. Okay, last villager. Maybe on the old wood side of things. You can come and visit your friends down here. They, they seem quite nice. There we go. There we go. Right. There, yep. Okay, so we're now getting a steady supply of resources in, so I can, uh, I can splash the cash, as they say. Right, so, first off, we're going to set ourselves a little perimeter. We're going to get some uh, towers on the go. No. I want to repair anything, because I've nothing to repair. Look at that, they've gone to the Imperial Age. The only age you can get to in this game, that's when you get sort of the, the, the real, uh, real big units that can cause you no end of problems. Once I build these towers, I'm going to start building the walls to go in front of them, just to give me a bit more protection. And then uh, I can start getting some more resources going, then I can look into building up, uh, just a, a small little force to start with, just to act as a little defence force uh, before things really go to complete pot. So I've got you building those, so I'm going to just start building a wall. So what I'm going to do is have you coming down from there to start with. I'll have you go into there, we may bring you across. Right, there we go. Workers, villagers work more efficiently by moving 10% faster and carrying 25% more resources. We're going to want that. I'll tell you what, we'll have you on the food front. Right, oh, there's something to build, that's my tower. So what we're going to do... Tree. It's not problem, so it's problems. Okay, nope, I'll tell you what we'll do. We can have it running straight in front. Go to there. You will be done soon, you two will be done soon. Right. Let's have you sit in there. Now the towers, they will work for a time, but uh, if the enemy start bringing some trebuchets into the affair, well, then we're in trouble. Now, I haven't really got enough food to warrant building too much stuff in it. I want to try and get as much food out as possible. So to do that, <clears throat> we're going to have 15 villagers built. And these 15 villagers are just going to be farmers. We're going to try and really get that farming gone, going. I'm not too fussed about getting the relics. I can pick those up when I take out the enemies at a later date. I can't attack them. Now, sometimes your villagers will go walkies if they... If, you, if, if he's finished building, and he hasn't, he'll come down here and help him. I've lost no end of villagers trying to do the old uh, switcheroo on me from time to time. Yes, exactly. When I get enough wood behind me, I will go into here, 
and I'll be spamming this particular button. That allows the villagers to reseed the farms automatically without me having to manually click on them. But for the time being, I will be manually clicking on them just to ensure that uh, I can keep an eye on the side of things. What I also need to be careful of is where I'm joining up to these wooded areas is when the villagers start going to other areas to chop wood, I would then have to fill in the gaps where this would have been. Otherwise, I am in serious trouble. Alright, you can go... Okay, what? Let's send you up there. Hello, got two villagers here. Jolly good. Whoops, don't want to do that. I need symmetry. And, in my haste, I completely neglected to keep an eye on the old population cap. Right, you're now doing your own thing because you're being dumb, so you are going to come back up to and be my little house builder. You are finito, so you will then go to there. Okay, you've built the gates. We're also going to put like, a tower there. Just to give yourself a bit more space. Been a bit dim. Try that one again. Oh, I don't know. Alright, you're doing that. No, no. Just go down there, would you? We're not going to build another gate. We don't need another gate. We're just going to keep building some more towers just to maximise our defences where possible. It even just slows the enemy down, even for a few moments. A few moments is what I'm going to need. Ultimately, in the end. Must well keep an eye on the stone mines. You see, they're getting through these stones very, very quickly. I will be getting some more villagers to uh, get the excess gold mines around here just to give me a, a little bit more gold. What I will do, select you. Hello, who are you? Uh, see, they, these AI have a real thing for wanting to build these guys. They're effective, they definitely work. Right, there's the market. One, two, three, four, five. Now that will bring some additional gold into my uh, little Maybe. town, which is what I'm going to need. All the gold makes things significantly easier for me. All right. There we go. All right, all done. Let's... Let's do that. All right, you then go up to... Yep, you can go to there. You can go there. Oh, yes. Come on. Play, play the one man here. There we go. Okay. So we're starting to get a bit more uh, formality going off in this. Spice of Leeds' knowledge of a king's location. Oh, that's just, the, that's just the AI doing the same thing. Well, who are you? Oh, just a scout cavalry, so I'm not too close to Pampy. Right. You can see there, the towers doing what they should do. They've ghosted, <laughs> ghosted through there. Oh, dear. I'm going to have four more to do. Uh, yeah, we'll put something up there as well. Right. Okay, they can't get out from there. So, go there. We're going to have that. Straight down there. Try and block off as many paths as possible. That's right, so literally all we can do. There we go. Everyone attack now. That's exactly what I did want to have happen. So we have enough food, so I'm going to buff you up. Ah, uh, this is this is definitely not what I want to have happen. The AI, def the AI do this to me on a regular occurrence because you're trying to focus on getting everything built where possible and it just completely does you over. It doesn't help whatsoever. So you can see there we've got movement. So if they come for me, I am in... I'm in trouble. 
Nope, I've not got a villager that's not doing anything at the moment. Ooh, yes, you're free. Right, up you go. You are going to build a wall. Just in that little channel there. It's not ideal. It just, gi it just gives me a chance. Alright, is that done yet? Alright, here we go. Get on both of those. I'm going to watch the food plummet as we spam those units. They'll be weaker against everything that the enemy has to offer at me. If they've made anything. I think these guys haven't made anything yet. Oh, they have. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh, this definitely isn't good. Oh, okay. Well, well, in that case then. I'll go up to the Imperial Age. Sorry, the Castle Age. Let's spam some Scout Cavalry. Watch that food plummet. Okay, right. Had enough food to warrant that, but we're going to buy some more anyway. There we go. We're going to just keep these houses going. Build as many as possible. Can't do anything on that. Right. Build another tower. Yes. Uh, let's get some towers going inside here as well. If push comes to shove, I can have the town garrison and all my units will disappear where possible. Ooh. Yeah, this is going to be fun. The AI are forcing my hand early. I really wanted to uh, build up my resources a little bit more first before uh, doing all this. But, uh, there's not much I can do. The thing is, because I'm building these, they're going to be weaker than the units that are going to be attacking me, but they will slow them down. So let's, uh, it could work in my favour. Right. Oh, sod it. Oh. Symmetry out the window. Just keeping an eye on you. Where are you going? Okay, you can't get there, so right, let's build a tower there. And let's build you... There, just as a third one, just to give me a little more protection. A little bit of stone left, not too much, so I'll have to uh, keep my peepers open for that one. For when that runs out, where are you attacking? You're coming up here. Okay, this is going to get tasty. Right, who do I have out of you? 80 food, 10 gold. Yeah, we'll make 15 of you. So that's the max you can make out of any bomb building at a time. Let's get all this going. Conscious of the resources I have available, so let's, uh, let's just try and get things going as best as possible. Right. Let's make a university so I can upgrade some of the buildings. Siege workshops, so I can get some siege equipment going. This is going to be handy for me. Siege equipment being that, and that is a pain at the best of times. I think you may have to nip into there. So I'll just garrison the unit just to, just to protect her for the best as I can. Let's see if I can't. Now you see, that's what they're doing. They're attacking there, so I don't... Let's start building our towers a bit further down. And you can see here, the enemy are attacking them. It's like, trying to save some bacon. Oops. Right, I've got enough of the wood to keep on doing this. Bum, 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 bum. Let's just keep on going. Okay, what's going on here? We're running out of running out of space. Have you done who's done what? Have you ah, hello. To a spare. Oh, okay, stone right. Well, you're just dim, so Okay, so then you wanna go down there for stone. Okay, let's have a look at the resources are around here. Nice, you're pushing that. I'm going to send these villagers out into the open to that stone mine, just to give myself a little bit more room to play with. You see, he's running with uh, these research chemicals. Which basically means he can uh, fire... Um, ...heated uh, stones at me. Which obviously deal much more damage than uh, just standard ones. Still a pain, mind you, but... There we go. Right, so we're going to research guard towers to make our 
Our towers is a little bit more stronger. There you go. There you go. Yeah, he is. him doing that. Ugh. It's going to be a problem. How much stone have we got? Okay, I can probably get away with what we have here at the moment. Now, when these buildings get to a certain health, they automatically get rid of the... Um, are you being attacked? Right, we're still repairing that. Interesting, when the... Okay, when the uh, units go into these buildings, they actually start healing. Which is handy. Alright, so... Yeah, you're going you're gonna to do that. I've still got that coming along. Uh, okay, well, as soon as I can buy stone in the market, you two are going to be additional farmers, just to make my life a little bit easier. No, don't do that. There we go, jolly good. How did you get here? How did you get in? Oh, I see what you did. <laughs> uh, yes. Yes, I see what you did, and I see what I didn't do. Oh dear. Yeah. See, what you've done there is actually not been at all clever. Uh, I bet that's where they're going as well. I've got two more coming up. Right. Yeah, you lads. Um... Yeah, let's go there. Right, let's get some more houses in the go. I'm just going to keep on researching bits where, where possible. I knew it, I knew that's what we are going to do. Got them going up. Right. The monk is actually going to be my top priority because uh, if left unattended, he can cause all sorts of problems. Right. There we go, we'll start taking them out so we can uh, try and get some normality back in this. Right, I've got things being researched left, right and centre. Okay, cost no gold. I shall happily take that. Right, you come back. Out you come. Build that. Right, we've now got enough of this, so no. We'll upgrade you to light cavalry. Give you a bit more speed. Right, off you go, lads. You can do that. Let's get some more towers being built around here. Oh, great, they're the Persians. They've got more elephants. They are a nightmare. Absolute bleeding nightmare. <laughs> Ugh. Right, go on. Up you go. How long have I got left? It's not too far away. Right, at your lad, go. This is going to be a problem. Just leave him alone. I don't know what his game is actually going to be. This is going to be a problem. Oi, can you come up here? Right, who's doing what and everything else? Let's, let's upgrade you. Let's do you. Right, there you go. There you go. Now, for war elephants and cavalry, you want spearmen. Because they counter war elephants, cavalry, and they make stronger. These guys. They're perfectly fine at most things. Obviously, they're, they're significantly weaker against uh, hand cannons and just archers in general. Right, we're going to upgrade our bowmen. I'm going 
I'll have to get a plan put together quite quickly. Significantly quicker than I originally wanted to, I must admit. Okay, how are you guys doing? I uh, see so they're bringing trippers into the pro. This is going to be a problem. Let's get motor holes, so my turrets can fire immediately down without any problems whatsoever. Okay, we have crossbowmen created, so let's... Oh, I can't do that just yet. There we go, I'm both. I'm aware that I've got significantly less gold than I would traditionally like, but I can't do much at this stage. What we are going to do... I'm going to spam a slow spearman as well, just to give myself that added edge. Okay, monastery created. Five monks, just to give myself that little edge. Gold mine is depleted. Let's go to the next gold mine. Just give myself a chance. Let's go to you. Let's fill some more houses. Let's get some houses going. Otherwise, I'm going to be in trouble. Okay, sorry. Right, you are going to build that. Now, you're coming up here, which means you've got a thing. So, okay, look, we're going to continue to coming up here. I can work with this. That's what we're going to keep doing. That's fine. Uh, you need to... Oh, I don't want to do that either. Let's send you down there. So you're out of harm's way. See, the AI goes, everyone attack now. That just sends the, everybody else into a complete frenzy. It doesn't help me at all. Not in the slightest, but there we go. Okay. Yeah, I need that. Hello. No, 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 you're doing something wrong. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh. Okay, you have to... Right, you have to ignore heating them for the time being. No, they, they've gone and done something sneaky. Oh, where are those tributaries going to unpack? No, oh, three of them as well. They're doing what I do, except that... Uh, this is a problem. They've got five people who are going to counter my cavalry, this is a problem. Oh, this is definitely a problem. Okay, right. Take out the triple shows. That's going to be the... That's going to be a big one. Right. You come down here. You build that wall. Okay. There we go, super shades are being taken out. Let's do that. Uh, do I need to do arches? Yes, I need that. Can't do anything like that. Not too fast about it at the moment. Let's get some more houses going. I'm doing a crossbow then. Uh, still got loads to do yet. Yep, that's the housing problem. Okay, how many monks have we got here? Four monks, let's bring them down to get some healing going. I need some healing. Got the houses being built. Oh. Okay, fine. You can finish off building his house. There we go. Don't need you. One more monk to come out. As soon as they all come out here, they can start healing. That's done. All right. Let's go to the Imperial Age. A lot quicker than I traditionally would. This is, uh, I usually try and be a little bit more cautious, but sometimes the you know, AI can be a little bit of a pain in the backside. Hoping I can research these guys to a higher level. But how are my allies doing? How, how are you doing? Oh my god. Well, it appears my allies are um, spamming elite archer elephants. They're the Indians. Good grief. Okay, well, so I've got the Persians coming at me again. Okay, so let's go into here. What can I, what do I need? Critical hit points? Yes, I need my monks to be a bit a little bit harder to kill. Now. Oh, okay, that's fine. Let's get through that. Right, let's upgrade you to pikemen so you're a little bit stronger. Can't do anything with that, can't do anything with that, can't do anything with that. Let's bring the pikemen out. Anything I can do with the cavalry. No, that's that enough for research. Almost done on there. 
you can see what I'm going to, what I'm doing here. I'm building a load of archers, and as I alluded to earlier, I'll be building three trebuchets, and that is what I tend to do normally, because having a, a group of archers is handy for wiping out uh, groups of enemies at in, in decent hits, and basically go from there. But I've got a theory. <laughs> well, they haven't wiped these guys. Out. They haven't killed their king, but um, they're going after they, they're going after them. They're going to do all the work for me. I'm just going to sit here and just uh, just defend myself as I'm watching all this taking place. I may not even be able to get a uh, uh, looking into it. Where is it going? Okay. Yes, I need more houses. Thank you. Okay, let's do a bit of that. Let's get some more of that going. Let's do a bit of you. Kind of on that. I will do that. That can be handy to have. Where are you going? Steal my thunder here. Why well, I'm not able to get uh, even get a, a looking into this. Okay, I can research them to what I need. Stick that to that. Send you down there. How are we doing on the old farm front? Let's whack in a load more. Boom, there we go. Okay, because it's cavalry coming up the front, let's send in the pikemen. See what trouble they can cause first. They're just going to go and attack them. Ah, that, okay, that's all to go in. Go on, go for it. In we go. Come on, have some fun. And you can hear, we're, we're absolutely annihilating. These pikemen are fantastic. Against cavalry and mounted, any mounted unit, that is what you want. I'm not going to get them to attack anybody, I'm just going to keep moving them down, and they will just instantly attack whoever they fancy. You can also run away. Back we go. Let's just bring it all back. We'll leave them to do their own thing. Ah, interesting. They've converted a, uh, a, Brit a British longbowman. Okay, there's our three, there's our bits, abolists. Those so, Duncan's castles. I'll have that. Basically, I'm just going to keep researching absolutely everything where possible. There we go. Chemistry. Just going to make things a lot more entertaining. Let's send you down there. It appears the museums are causing no end of problems here. At home. Oh, we have a monk doing some converting somewhere. That explains why they've all come back down because they're, they're seeing the bigger threat. Now, these war elephants are by the, uh, the arch elephant archers. They're not actually that strong. The war elephants, the Persian straight, are a royal pain. You see, we've got a python there. A single python, he can cause some problems. Oh, he's not being attacked. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Okay, where are uh, where are these guys? Okay, that's fine. Right, what else can we do in there? Right, let's get so let's get our do our unit garrisons heal faster, which is what we're going to need. Push comes to shove. I could send these guys in to attack quite happily. Now their king's in there, and they are rebuilding as my ally seems to have been a complete. Ball and not really finished before he started. And also, this is where the AI can trip over themselves. Sometimes they can flood um, themselves with loads of units to start off with, but then they can ever so quickly run through their own resources and leave themselves vulnerable. And that is something I usually do. 
I tend to send in waves and waves and waves of these types of units in at these various bases just to draw out their forces and uh, cause no end of problems, which then makes these guys' lives so much easier because these will attack all the buildings, and these guys will attack all the units that come and try and attack them. And they have very, very good range, and because I've got a large number of them, it'll just make things that much more entertaining. But seeing as I'm still waiting for them to come down, let's see how you guys are doing. Okay, we've got some monks trying to do some conversion somewhere. Okay. Bring you forward. Let's get them to attack there, so they all just start unpacking naturally. Let's keep you guys at a distance. I've got a bit of stand ground. Now what that does for ranged units, as I uh, drop the mouse, there we go, bring it back, is they will only attack units that come into range. They won't go off wandering like they did earlier. And three trooper shades is all you need, because three trooper shades will cause plenty of damage over time. So, let's go on down here then. Well, looks like they're, uh, they're doing well. They've, they've done what I tend to do. But I do think I can spam these units. Right, let's pack that in. Monk just casually wanders around. Let's send you up. Okay. I'm hoping we're going to have to get in somehow, so what I'm going to do... I'm going to send my lads up there. You are going to go up there. I think they, they may have a similar idea to me. A triple shade in its last legs. Now you've broken in, but you're going to be susceptible to your own archer fire, so you're going to be killed quite quickly. Okay, you that's it there. Let's do that. Right, let's send them up. We'll keep them at the gate so we can kill any villagers that come along. Or they can fire their arrows into the stables. Which, as you see, a surprising amount of damage. And look at that. Didn't even get close. Okay, it's the gate now. Now you see, we're letting some of the units getting closer. You see how quickly that health just depleted them. I can't even get close. Right, so, we have some trip provisions to get rid of the town centres. Because the kings will leave their castles and zip into town centres uh, if they can, if they, if they can't get to another castle. So, just keep on running as quick as possible. So, even though the king could be in there or there, you want to take out this, this, and this first, make sure that they uh, can't scarf them. So, you get done much, much quicker. Going on down here. Now you see, because my ally has been that much of a of a dipstick, he started attacking the British and just left them be, so it, it gives them a chance to rebuild again. Right, let's bring that down. You see, she's coming up because they're going. The AI wants to rebuild this wall. There you go. He's off to go and build something. Here comes the next one to just try his hand. So, let's send the trip shades up, let's bring them in. Bring them forward again, just to give the trip shades a bit more room. Top of the hill, there we go. Trip shades will start doing their own thing. And being attacked by King Bar, jolly good. And you see, this is the problem with some of the AI. They may have trip shades doing all the work, but... Uh, these guys, they will get killed very, very quickly if they're not intended. Okay, we haven't got much of an armor left. Let's send these guys up. Now you see they're rebuilding. They are rebuilding. Now, I've not been covered out. I left them. I've lost. That's three archers I lost because I wasn't paying attention. I left them to be attacked by that castle. Also, with these triple shades. Once they finish attacking what you tell it to, which is like anything in this game, they will just start aiming for whatever they can, 
a certain distance. It could be the farm, the houses, the mining camp. Now, if this were a multiplayer game at this point, and I, would, and I were the Persians, I would probably be fit by now because you've got no chance. You really, you just haven't got a chance in hell at this point in proceedings. Now, this is what we want to be careful of. That siege unit, if that fires on my troops, that will wipe them all out ever so quickly. So, get that formation, it spreads them out, so whilst some may die, it won't be absolutely everyone. There we go. Bring them back together, we have a tighter formation. Let's now attack that. You can see, because I, because I wasn't attacking the villagers, I've now built that wall, which is what they wanted to do. So, make them me leaving, I'll have to break more of that, or bring something else down. So, have they got another castle somewhere? They do, they have a castle there, and a castle there goes the king, just there. I don't know where the king's gone, but we're going to keep on taking these buildings out so the king can't run into any of these. Kings are very, very weak. Doesn't take much to kill them. That's the castle gone. The village are gone. Another the village are gone. That's all. Oh, what a hit! What a hit by the Trebuchet takes out the villager. Okay. Now, because we know where they are, I don't quite know what that one's up to. It must have found a relic somewhere. Okay. Let's send them out. That's going to be a problem when it comes to me attacking them because the long. These long bowmen have greater range than my abolists. My arbalists even. So, um, this could be a, a little bit of a problem as I knock over the mouse yet again. I, I got out just in time. Okay. I'll set it all to attack there, and then when it gets closer, I'll have to make sure that the archers don't get too close because they get, um, they get wiped out. <laughs> Uh, they're off to, but there we go. What are we doing on the old idle villager front? You're just not doing anything. At this point, I really am I'm not, it's not worth me building anything because I've not got the uh, the need to build any more units. Again. Alright, let's just keep an eye on you. Because obviously the tribuchets will start unpacking at a certain distance and I can bring these back. If they get too close to that castle, the castle will have them. Happen for breakfast. Now, I've got to keep an eye on this. Because that may unpack to sight. Yeah. If it does, which it is, I mean, kind of taking moving target. Not even, no, too far. I think it's too far away. Okay, right, let's unpack those. Let's move them just in case. Okay, you managed to get a shot on there. Let's get them in. Oh, there's a fraction closer. Oh, that was close. Now, we've got to keep an eye, because if they make some uh, more siege units out of here, I could be in trouble. So, let's see how the accuracy is of my trooper chase. All three missed the first shot. Here we go again. Oh, there we go. That was a good shot. Where are you going? Oh, you've hit that one. There's two trooper chase here. All three missed the next shot. It was tense. Here we go again. Hit again. This trooper chase on form. There we go. Taken out. Right. Yeah, it's like in the castle. Now the Atlas are attacking the uh, siege workshop, so that takes a load off my mind. There we go, that's a He's not attacking me, that's fine. He should actually get taken out quite quickly because the combat cannon is so OP in this game. It really is. There are certain units in this game that if you wanted to, you could spam the absolute hell out of. And saying that, the Onigo just took out the, the um, cannon there, so I may have to uh, utilize my trooper chase to take out that um, siege workshop. Nobody's dead, but that building is still going strong, so I want to make sure that's gone before I uh, commit. There we go, that was. One shot. That was totally wasted. Now, where are you going? Look at that. See, look at the amount of bowmen they've created there. 
Now I've got a watch for these units. But if needs be, it's going to be the horseman going in first before I do anything else. Just look at that, look, they're sending in all these, all these archers, they were archers basically against this castle. The castle will probably will single-handedly take out all of them. Quite happily. But because you've got the triple shows coming in, it turns the tide. That's all you need. Triple shows will turn the tide. Now, I'm not worried about sending them archers up. Because they've not got any resources in here, really. So we can not be thinking they can create any more units. But I'm keeping an eye on that little bubble there. That's the problem. That's why having an AI in this game, friendly AI, can sometimes be a downfall. Because, as you can see, they did a lot of damage. Here's where buildings and farms used to stand. But they diverted their attention and came in after versions. Alright, take out the king. You can see there, the king is not trying to get away because he hasn't got any buildings to take refuge in. Now they are coming for me. Now they're not elite longbowmen, they're just longbowmen, so they're still strong, but they're not too strong. So, let's send the cavalry down here. We won't ask them to attack specifically, we'll just let them do their own thing. We'll now bring these guys down, because the longbowmen don't seem to be too- There we go, you see, look. Longbowmen attacking in groups will take out my units. This is the problem. I haven't got anything to counter these guys, all I can do is sending cavalry. That's all we can do. Okay, King Baron defeated. We've taken out the Persians. Okay, right. Cavalry are doing their job. They're taking out the bowmen. Let's just take this and get them to take certain individuals. Yes, going better than I thought, but we have some more bits coming up. We have some siege equipment turning up, trebuchets. Again, trebuchets will be easily countered against my cavalry. Not a problem, my cavalry can take those out. Do it. Right, we're going to bring them back. We're going to bring them in. Now, whilst they're diverted, we are going to... Well, we're going to take out that building first. Take out that barracks, that's one less building to worry about. Okay. Okay, I've got the Allies Monk healing my units. This is handy. In which case, I'll send the horses straight down, because the Monk will heal them as they're attacking, as will my other Monks. Let's bring the Monks straight down. Just keep an eye on these. Okay. We're going to ask them to purposely attack the trebuchets. We're going to leave the longbowmen because we're going to send in swordsmen against longbowmen. It's risky, but it could, uh, could work in my favour, right? Like that. That's the one. Right, here we go. First, come on. The longbowmen are doing some of this. Excuse me. Here we go. The final attack. Right, we need to have our monks on the A game here. We're going to lose units, this is going to happen, but if our monks can keep healing, then uh, we could be in the for chances. Mind you, there's never any doubt that we were going to not survive this. We were always going to have that. But then look! I mean, look at that! That's mad! They've just spammed Archer Elephants, and that is the Indian's uh, special unit. I mean, you saw my special unit earlier. Admittedly, it didn't last very long, but they lasted all the five minutes. But uh, that's these guys. I like cavalry with a bonus. So again, because it was cavalry, and I was going off against um, pikemen and all that business, I was going to get absolutely stuck. Right. There we go. Let's take out some of these units. Seems that uh, they've got some. Thanks. Just gonna. If, if I were, if, if if I were going off against this. I would spam beyond belief like just spam them. And I'd also send in an army of cap of uh, cavalry at the same time. The simple reason about being is that they would be decimated. If you're gonna if you're playing this week and uh, you're gonna come across someone doing you may come across somebody multiplayer doing this very thing. You are beginning a lot of a lot of other archers to match it, or what you're building. 
four, you uh, come in. Load of pikemen. Four horses. And that'll do just as fine. Right, I'll rustle through that. So that's, uh, look at that. During all this fighting, I've not been building anything. My resources are really starting to stock up quite good. Stone's always going to be a bit of a problem, but I've got a sneaky suspicion it might actually be done. You are. Right, so, seeing as they're now done, well done. That was a gold mine done, so you can go there. What are you doing? Oh, you're doing your own thing. Right. Let's take that barrack out. What's the about the, uh, the range difference there? They've got such a better range than my generic archers. They've got four archers to go those long bowmen and they've got two far away. Right, that's that done. Let's take out the, uh, the gates. I'm pretty convinced that uh, only two of those hit then. Let's have a look and see. <laughs> they all missed. Oh dear. What are you aiming at? Go for the mill. Okay. Alright, give me a seat. Alright. What are you doing? It's not bad. No! Take that! Why are you... Why have you got a thing to go into that town centre? Attack that! I'm oh, forcing... Oh, hello. Right, there's plenty of slides back, so it's a bit problem. Okay, spread them wide. Makes it a little bit harder. That thing's not interesting to me. This is. There we go. That's taken out one, two, three, four. That's taken out five of my units already. I... Hello, lads. So we're going to walk around there. I don't think we're going to come through the battles alone, but there we are. No, 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 we're not having you do that. Yes, right. Uh, I suspect is where the king is located. That's a little bit of a Yes. The king is in there. So I tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to bring the cavalry down here. So they can actually see some action. Now, can I actually upgrade these cavalry to the new age? Yes, I can. I can upgrade them to Hussars. Why don't I do this originally? Now, uh, down you can. Okay, well, you may as well go straight for that. You can come up there. See what other villagers aren't doing anything. You aren't doing anything. So, seeing as uh, my allies, the Indians, are stealing that gold mine, you can go there. You're fine. You're fine. You're just idling. You're not doing much. I can live with this. This is not a problem. Right, that's that now built. Hello, someone's just been killed. They've taken a fancy to want to take that out, so carry on, lads. But again, look at this. Look. That single castle. Look at the damage it's causing to this. Without that trebuchet, that castle would wipe out all of them easily. If they didn't have those trebuchets there, these war elephants, gone. Completely gone. Yeah. I've got to keep these lads here, because the AI might get some funky ideas about trying to build a gate in there. Here come my upgraded cavalry. So they're now stronger and faster than the light cavalry that I had originally. Um, I don't quite know what you're trying to do, actually. Have they got... Yes, they do. I can get down there. Ah, there we go. There goes the king. There goes King Edward. He's going to run into there. What are you taking my fancy to? You're taking my fancy to a house. I'll tell you what. And because I'm at an imperial age, I haven't actually thought of doing this. Let's just upgrade both of those guys. No real reason for them to do it, but there we go. I'm just going to keep, I'm just going to keep the archers working there. They're going to just keep doing their own thing. Um, where have my trip shows gone? Well, there's 
Hold on, let's press this button so we can have a just focus on the military units. Where is... Oh, you're there. Right, where's my boy? Health left, so it's gonna forcibly eject the king. There he goes, he's on the run. He's, there's another castle there. Let's get the cavalry to cut him off, we'll kill him, and then that will be that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, get to him, get to him, get to him, get to him, get to him. Go on, lads, go on, lads, go on, go No, 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 come on, back up, back up, back up. All right, what are you doing? Right, you can just do that. Over here. Bosh, there we go. Uh, okay. Everybody else happy so far? For the most part, right. You've, got, you've taken a fancy to that piece of the pole. Why have the lads turned up yet? Because you're slow, aren't you? Right. Take out that. And then we'll get you to... Oh, I see what you... Oh, okay. Alright. Okay, you're being clever. You've got another castle there. Well, okay. That's five. That's five horses can go there. Okay. So, is he going to run into those horses? He is. Okay. See how quickly he gets taken out. There he goes. Happy days. Hour and 45 minutes, that look. That's about average, but um, my hand was forced quite quickly when the Persians decided to come and say hello. So, after. There we go. And look at that, what a, a proper medieval name. Yes. 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 Admittedly, I should have been King Edward, should have been the British. I'd have made good use of the longbowmen. But again, you get all your, your stats in here. So your military stats, you can see who's done what. So in that you can sit uh, the Indians killed. Madness. And their army size is right behind me. Total of units built. Let's run into the economy. Look at that. And you see, because I wasn't focusing on gold to start with, I only had two working gold mines. I normally have three. That third gold mine makes all the difference, but then all the trade I was doing, bringing some of the extra bits where needed. You can just see here that uh, the AI will focus heavily on some things, but not on others. So each AI, it is actually it works ever so slightly differently. And you can see here the timeline of when I advanced to the certain ages, as opposed to when the AIs did. So you can see I am massively behind. But in doing so, you build up your resources, you can get that army in, you can get your defences up. It makes all the difference. It runs to society. And this tells you the wonders. Now, wonders is something completely different. I may build one in a later game, but uh, they are they are daft. Look at the castles. Seven, six, six. I only had the one. I had the one castle. They had built loads. Relics, again, they captured all, well, they had all four by the uh, the end of proceedings, and the gold collected from the relics. That was the gold collected from their relics when they had them. So it pays to have the relics in there, as it is a, an income generator. And then look at the villagers. I thought 83 was a decent number, but 101. To be fair, on an, on an average game, that's what I tend to go for. So, all in all, not bad. So, I hope you all enjoyed watching that for, uh, well, to, to start this all off. There will be plenty more coming along, and uh, we'll be having a bit more fun as, as we go into it. And just trying out different uh, randomly generated maps, and uh, just trying out different gameplay styles. Again, wholly dependent on the civilization that you play. Because uh, what I did in that particular game, I certainly couldn't do if I was playing as... Uh, a couple of different civilizations because they don't have um, stables, so you can't make cavalry. 
and others limit you as to what you can research. So some of the archers, like I had, I had um, just a standard archer, then went to the crossbowman, then went to the uh, the abolist. Some civilizations don't even let you upgrade from the basic archer. So you've really got to uh, you you've got to play to each civilization's strengths in order to survive. But uh, thank you all very much for watching. It is greatly appreciated. If you enjoyed what you've seen today, then please do like and subscribe. And feel free to leave a comment. Uh, I rather suspect I'm going to be getting grilled quite significantly throughout the course of this. But I enjoyed doing this, and uh, I hope you all did too. This is all just lighthearted fun. I certainly don't consider myself to be a professional at this game, but I do love playing it. And who knows, at some stage I may actually break into the uh, the campaigns. So you can see here, you've got the Age of Kings, the Forgotten, the Rise of the Rajas, the African Kingdoms, the Conquerors, all the different DLC that was installed into this. But I may break into these at a later date. So I'm not too sure what uh, what will be next, so we'll just have to wait and see, won't we? So, until next time, I shall see you all later. Take care, guys. Goodbye.